everybody. This is quite crazy. I've never done anything like this before. I mean, I've posted videos and stuff like that, but I've never even thought about doing anything on YouTube. It's not like it'll be some big thing or anything, but it's still new, and I'm like fresh out the oven with it. So anyway, we'll just get started. Um, as you can see in the title of the video, um, this is my Hope Chest um, collection. Gosh, I've probably been collecting this stuff for years, um, ever since I was in high school. And I graduated in 14, so mm, you do the math on that one. Anyway, um, this is, there's no, I didn't include holiday stuff, nor did I include, um, things that were given to me as gifts or passed down because that would make this video annoyingly long and I'm not going to do that to anybody. So let's start off with the first thing. Um, I'm going to start off with, there's so many things. Mm. It was really fun to go through my stuff because I didn't realize, like I knew what I had, but I forgot. And so it was really fun to go through it again. I couldn't include the holiday though because it's just way too much. First off, let me give you the definition to Hope Chest. I think I looked it up and it was a storage chest for a woman to put things in for her marriage. But I mean, yeah, that that's the case. Um, but this is just for me to have a house of my own in general. Yes, I'm 24. I still live with my parents, but I am very responsible and I pay a lot of bills, a lot of bills, and have two jobs, so no one can come after me, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to start out with uh, one of my favorite, well, all this is, I'm going to say is probably my favorite thing, but um, this was really cool. I actually got this off of um, a bidding site off of Facebook and I want to say that I got it for seven dollars so it's really cool it is this Alabama shaped basket how cool is that I mean I can use it in the living room in a dining room a kitchen the possibilities are endless okay so this was really cool like I said I think I got it for seven dollars I got it off of a um a facebook bidding site a long time well i said probably about two years ago maybe um but it's super cool i just love the i love baskets and um i just love the basket uh look to this and it has a hard bottom so um i can make a really cool tray out of this for maybe like in the middle of a coffee table possibly I don't know so anyway really cool next off let's see is this set of plates and bowls however they are not microwavable so um, I cannot use them in the microwave obviously I'm trying to see if I can use them in the dishwasher it doesn't say anything about that, which I would probably just hand wash them anyway, just because, I mean, if it's not microwave safe, then I don't know what kind of safe it is. So I would probably just hand wash these. Um, they have a weird feeling. They're not like glass plates. Or, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, this is four right here and then four bowls. So um, this plate set was five dollars for all four and I don't remember how much the bowls were I took the tag off I got this at or I got these at a thrift store in Gulf Shores probably about maybe two years ago three three years ago maybe um super cute set just something that um I may even use it for like a summer decorative sort of like tablescape, you know, because I think that would be cute for summertime. I don't know. Cool. Anyway, 
Next up, um, I have these room darkening curtains. I got these at Target. That's where I got these. Don't know the price because I took the tag off. So I don't know what the price was, but huh, just now realized it's one panel. Well, I'll make it work somehow. Anyway, I don't see this panel being over 10 bucks. If it was, that's a bit ridiculous, but I don't think it was. This I got at TJ Maxx a long time ago. It says can't touch this with cacti. Um, it was three, it was originally five dollars, um, and they were comparing it at seven dollars, so um. I got it for $3.50, and that was because it was on the clearance, like the little clearance section of TJ Maxx. It opens up. I think it's meant to be like a jewelry box, sort of, um, but really you could put anything in it. I would probably use this in like a, because my style has changed. Like I said, I got a lot of this stuff years ago. Um, my style has changed, so I might even use this in like a little girl's room one day like when she has little jewelry or something like that just put it in there and I don't know it just it seems kind of like little girl but I mean you never know I, I'll still like I love cacti or cacti I almost say cactuses I love cacti so <sighs> kitty bowl <laughs> um I got this at TJ Maxx can't remember, I took the price, no, I got the price on here, I'm sorry, $5 for this bowl. It is microwavable and dishwasher safe. Compare it $10, I paid $5 for it. Yeah, it's a very nice bowl. I can't believe I paid $5 for it. though. Maybe I felt like splurging, I'm not sure, but it's cute. I'll eat my cocoa puffs out of it, whatever. And I'm sorry if you hear dogs. I have two, and they are quite a mess. So, they don't like when people walk down the road or bring anything up to the door or breathe. I know them. <laughs> I know them. They're outside the, the window. I know them. Um, shout out to Van and Melissa. Anyway, um, so this is um, a spoon holder. So whenever you're cooking or anything like that, you put that on the um, stove top and you can lay your spoon in there. Um, the funny thing is that it says, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? <laughs> so cheesy, I know. It's cute, and I got this at TJ Maxx. I got it for $4, and um, I don't know if I would use this all the time because it does have this pink bottom. Um, I might just use it for like a spring or summer look, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, um, it is, says, do not microwave, hand wash recommended. Figured that. I don't see myself microwaving this thing anyway. It really would have no purpose in the microwave. But I guess they have to put those kind of things on there in case you, like, blow up in the microwave. Anywho. Let's see. Oh, mugs. <laughs> okay. This first one. Okay, I only, I have three to show you. Um, I only thrifted one of them. And then the two other ones are from TJ Maxx. So, this one says, hey, sugar. And, oh, sorry. The light. And, you know, you're probably seeing everything backwards. How? YouTubers, tell me, how do you get that to where you, I don't know if you can see it backwards. I guess we'll see whenever I put this public where everyone can see it. Anywho, um, Hay Sugar, it is ceramic and it has this uh, kind of stoneware uh, bottom to it. It's by the brand Threshold and I don't know exactly how much I paid for this, but if it was at the thrift store, which it was because of the wrapping that I got it out of, um, I probably paid a dollar, if that. 
I don't know, maybe a dollar, but I love this. Oh, so cute. Um, these next two are from TJ Maxx. This first one says, yes. And yes, girl, uh, this one was $3. Like I said, I got it at TJ Maxx. It's just your um, regular kind of coffee mug. And I love it. It also has an exclamation mark down at the bottom. So, yes. This one is uh, You Are My Sunshine, which yellow is my favorite color. And sunshine is my favorite thing in the solar system. <laughs> I don't know what I was going with there. Anyway, um, this was $3. It also has a sunshine in the bottom. So when you get done with your, uh, with your coffee, you can still see the sun. This, I also got at that thrift store down in Gulf Shores. And it says, Mr. Steak. Giant steak plate. Can't wait to cook Ethan a steak and put it on this plate and serve it to him. It'll be really cute. But it's $3, or it was $3. Um, which I didn't think was a bad deal just because I like the aesthetic of it. It was cute. I mean, this is not right on or anything. It was just some, I guess, just somebody that was wanting to kind of make it look that way. But not really. I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. says Mr. Steak. I'm going to put a steak on it, maybe with a baked potato or something. This is from TJ Maxx. And it was a regular... It was a regular, let me take this sticker off. Okay, the sticker's not going to come off. But I'm going to say this was probably around $10 to $12. But I got it for $6. And it says, do something you love today. Um, I see myself probably putting this in like a craft hobby room um, something along those lines just because it's um, kind of uplifting but kind of, kind of encouraging me to do something that I want to do and all of that and I love to craft I love to do hobbies all that sort of thing so I would definitely put this in a craft or office supply room or something like that this jar is pretty cool um, I think I got this jar at the thrift store as well. Um, it has the rubber seal, so whenever you put it down, you know, and then it clicks or whatever. Um, this would just be a jar that I would maybe put candy in or little little cookies or something like that. Um, I could even use it in the bathroom and put some, like, cotton balls or... What are those? swabs cotton swabs I could put cotton swabs in this um really anything I mean I could even roll up some little wash rags and put them in there I mean if I wanted to it's just whatever I fancy I guess you can say but I like it because it has this little copper and the I like the um lids that have this so it doesn't like close harshly so it doesn't make you know a big old noise or anything so Oh, this, this I got recently. Um, I got this probably about before the corona got really bad. Mm, maybe about a month ago. Three, three and a half weeks ago. I don't know. Anyway, it's super cute. It is, um, I got it at the thrift store. It kind of reminds me of a genie, except a genie is in a bottle and not this cute little candy dish. Genie in a candy dish? I don't know. Anyway, um, I love the green. I love this green. And that little top is too cute. I got this for $2 at the thrift store here locally. One of the thrift stores here locally. We have several. But I got it there for $2. This I got at Target in the Target uh, Bullseye area. Target Playground, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just this, uh, it's kind of like, it, it might show up darker on yours, but it is a ceramic um, pitcher. Just a ceramic pitcher. Um, I got it for $5. Like I said, I got it from the Target 
playground area and it's just cute it'll be fun I don't even have to use it as like a pitcher for drinks or anything um although I could put lemonade in it whatever or I could just put some um flowers in it and call it a day let's see what do I want for paper sheets these are super cute tins i I don't know what my purpose is going to be for these, but I just think that they're so cool and so vintage looking. Like this one was only a dollar and it's just so cool. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could put cookies in them or store. I mean, obviously I'm going to use it for some kind of storage. I just don't know what, but I mean, look at this one. It has like mountain uh, pictures, photography, all that sort of thing. It's just, oh my God, I love that. But, um, I don't know. They're just cool, and I got them for a dollar each at the local thrift store. Ooh, this. This I got at um, Target as well. It is part of the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. Um, it is galvanized steel. Uh, it is food safe, but not oven safe and it's hand wash only so I got it at Target it's just a food food tray cake tray you know um, treats tray and I got it for seven dollars which I didn't think was bad I mean that's just super cute I mean it could even be like a tart dish a pie dish um I'm just seeing who's going down the road uh but I mean you could really put anything in this as far as like food or anything like that so I'd probably use it for like a fruit tart or something like that This is a ceramic planter, and it's also from Target, the Target uh, playground area. It was three dollars. Um, it was three dollars. Sorry about that. And um, it's just a cute little flower planter. I think I actually got it in the at the Valentine's time because it says two from and has a heart. But um, I just love it. It's super cute. And I can't wait to maybe put like a little cactus in it or a little succulent or anything like that. So, like, did I tell you it was $3? It's $3. This one was also from the Target Playground area. And it was only a dollar. And it is also a little planter as well. So, I'll probably just do the same thing with it. Um, put a little succulent or a little cactus or something like that. I know cactus, cacti are succulents. I understand that so don't come at me for that one but yeah I'll put something like that in this let's see these are some I'm not gonna have this stuff if I keep trying to break it um, these are some coke bottles that I found um, if this was more of like a high dollar thrift store I don't really shop at this one this much um but see this was five dollars mm, I maybe wanted to splurge that day I'm not sure and this one was two dollars maybe I was just in the coke mood maybe I was thirsty I'm not sure but uh yeah five and two I mean they're really cool bottles but I'm pretty sure I have some over at my grandparents so I don't know it some you know sometimes you buy stuff and then you realize oh, I could have done a little better with that but anyway I have them I'm not gonna get rid of them because there's no point so whatever this is a uh, smell good stuff so this is more so along the lines of um which I love blueberry scented stuff too don't get me wrong but my boyfriend who will one day be my husband <laughs> um he absolutely loves blueberry anything blueberry anything so when I saw this stuff and plus I got it on sale so um I think I bought this and this is scentsy <laughs> I, I don't know I just um it smells good I don't even know how much this was uh, but it's one of those scentsy blocks or whatever um that you put in your scentsy this is blueberry cheesecake this wasn't probably toxic for your body I would eat it it smells so good this I got at Bath and Body Works blueberry maple pancakes 
and this smells even better. I'm t this smells just like a dang real blueberry pancake with syrup. It smells so good. <laughs> mm. Part of me just wants to light it now. Love you, Ethan. I won't do it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to this. Uh, okay, so I have a favorite thrift store. I don't know. I mean, can I mention that? Is That's fine, right? It's my channel. Um, there go my dogs. My parents are probably going to bust up in here in a minute because they're coming in with food. <laughs> I have a favorite thrift store. It's over in Itala, which is close to kind of like where I live. Um, it is fantastic. It's called Rafa Ministries and it is fantastic. It is the OG of thrift stores around here. Like you can't get any better. Uh, it is fabulous. Um, it's, I got the, I got these. It's this, it's the set of, let's see, one fourth cup, one third cup and one half cup. I wish that there was a whole cup, but there's not. There's not a whole cup. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got these for, well, it says $2, but yellow is on sale all the time, so I may have even gotten it for 80% off. I don't know. Anyway, $2 for this is not bad because it is hand-painted ceramic, microwave and dishwasher safe. Look how cute these are. How cute are these? I love, I mean, look, it even has this little, like, embossed detail. I love it. Can't wait to cook with these. Bells, yes. I cannot remember what thrift store I got. I think I got these in center at a thrift store, which is about 40, 40 minutes away from where I live. Um... This one, see, I would kind of see myself putting the bells in maybe like a guest room or up in a, um, not a vignette. Oh, what am I trying to say? Glass. I don't know. I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. The direct, the dressers that normally hold like china and dishware and all that sort of thing i cannot remember i have memory loss anywho or even in ethan's man cave i don't know i could put them in this one says florida this one says uss alabama it's the battleship and this one says California. I love this one because it's got flowers and rainbow and all that sort of stuff. They all make noise. This one was $2. This one was $2. And this one was $2. So they were all $2 each. Um, I love them. I think bells are cute. So it was worth it for me. may not have been worth it for you, but it was worth it for me. Next off, oh yeah, okay. These are salt and pepper shakers. These cute little Colorado boots. Um, it was $3 for the set. I think I got these at the same, yeah, and the next salt shakers too, salt and pepper shakers. I got these at the same center thrift store that I got those bells from. Um, I think Ethan picked these out actually. But I love these because they we love Colorado. Colorado's our favorite. Um, and I just thought they were super cute. I mean, they have the Colorado picture on the front and then some kind of detail and design on the back. And they have the holes for the salt and pepper to come out of. I'm not breaking stuff, I promise. <laughs> um, these are also a set of $3.00. Um, salt and pepper shakers. They also have Denver, Colorado on them as well. We do like Denver, Colorado. So, um, anyway, these were three dollars, 
and they have the stoppers at the bottom. Again, like I said, I may even put these in like, maybe just like as a decoration in a man cave, or who knows, I might even use them at some point in the kitchen. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, it is a black and white, or it's a white, black speckled um, vase, and it is such a cool piece. I got this at, um, also at that OG thrift store in a tower close to where I live. Um, oh, it's so cool. I mean, I just love it. I love how unique it is. It was $3, and $3 is totally worth, worth this thing. I mean, it's awesome. Okay, I'm about to show you one of my favorite, this is the last thing as well. I'm about to show you my favorite discovery. And I got this at Rafa in a tower. I'm telling you, you can find anything there. I need, I just can't wait till y'all can go shopping with me there one day. Okay, I don't have a child yet, but I plan to have one. This is definitely a neutral sort of thing for any baby, any baby. If you're not familiar with the brand Eddie Bauer, then you need to familiarize yourself. Uh, just Google it. Um, Eddie Bauer, I, there's lots of things. I believe it's actually something to do with R. Originally, I have no idea. I just know that I have a lot of sweaters by the brand Eddie Bauer. Um, bags, shoes, every a lot of things. But... This crib set, neutral teddy bears, and the big thing is, it's a four-piece set. It comes with bumper, crib bumpers, um, a fitted sheet, a diaper stacker, and a bed skirt. I got this set for $10. No, nothing is wrong with it. Absolutely nothing. I got it for $10. And on online, eBay, Bye Bye Baby, all that sort of thing, they go for, and correct me if I'm wrong, but from my research, now this could have included something else with it. I'm not sure. But what I saw it was going for up in the hundreds, if not a little past 200, close to 250. Now that may have just been eBay, you know, people bidding and all that sort of stuff. But I thought $10, even if it was $50, $10, that's a good deal. Look at these patchwork teddy bears. And then it has this plaid on the back. But yeah, I can see myself use it. See, it has little bumblebees. Boy or girl. I mean, really. Dress it up with some yellow or even some mauve pink or something like that for a girl. Or for a boy, green, blue, I mean, red. Any Possibilities are endless. But yeah, that set. I mean, this, see, this one has... I just couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. See, this is the diaper stacker. It makes me so happy. It makes my heart so happy. This is the fitted sheet with the little teddy bears and everything on it. Very cute. Teddy bears and bu um, bugs. Bees. <laughs> and then this is the bed skirt just like a sort of almost like a dark dark mustard brown I guess you'd say anyway super cute ten dollars definitely worth more absolutely nothing wrong with it so actually I got a receipt right here yeah ten bucks I think I did pretty good there anywho 
that is the end of this. Um, so if you liked this video, then give me a big old thumbs up and um, put some ideas down in the comments and I will try to respond as fast as possible. And next video, I'll actually do a formal introduction of myself since I really didn't do that today. Um, kind of tell you what I like to do, um, what I aspire to do, all that sort of thing. So like I said, if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye.